Two days after Nick Saban announced his retirement, the Crimson Tide have found a new head coach and his name is Kalen DeBoer. Greg Byrne making the news official with this tweet of white smoke rising from where else, but only in Alabama fashion, Archibald's Barbecue. Good evening, I'm Stephen Quinn. And I'm Brenda Ledun, ABC 3340 Sports Director Jeff Spiegel is joining us right now. Jeff, what do we know about Alabama's new hire? Yeah, great tweet by Greg Byrne, by the way. Stephen and Brenda, Kalen DeBoer is a proven winner, 25-3 and three the last two seasons at Washington, a two-time Pac-12 Coach of the Year, and now the coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Johnny, Con Johnny Condon joins us live from the Malmore Athletic Complex. And Johnny, what is the latest on the coaches ETA? Yeah, Jeff, welcome back into Tuscaloosa. We're still in front of the Malmore Athletic Facility and there's been an awful lot of news coming out of the capstone this evening. Let's get you up to date with some of the newest pieces of information that have broken, say, the last hour or so. And we'll start with the fact that that Alabama Athletic Director Greg Byrne, he's got quite the sense of humor. We saw his post on social media indicating that a plane is on its way from Seattle, presumably with Washington head coach Kalen DeBoer. We have a crew en route to the Tuscaloosa airport right now. We also have confirmed a report from ESPN's Chris Lowe that a team meeting has been called for 9 p.m. tonight. And again, we're going to have live pictures of DeBoer as he steps off the plane in Tuscaloosa. And then he's coming here inside the Malmore Athletic Facility where he will meet with his new team. And again, we're going to have all the coverage all night long on a very busy day as Washington's Kalen DeBoer is en route to Tuscaloosa to become the next head coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide. But for now, in Tuscaloosa, I'm Johnny Condon, ABC 3340 Sports. Thanks, Johnny. Coming up later in sports, we'll hear from Ryan Brown of the next round and also Thank zone panelist on the hire. All right, thanks a lot, Jeff. I know you'll keep us posted. And of course, reaction is pouring in from all around the world. ABC 3340's Megan Scarano joins us from the Strip in Tuscaloosa. Megan, the new reported coach is all anyone seems to be talking about. Yeah, Brenda, and we've actually moved here to the Tuscaloosa National Airport. We're here because Greg Byrne has finally spoken. He tweeted the tweet that said the flight has left Seattle. We heard from him a few days ago when he said, if you don't hear anything from me, it's probably not true. Well, we finally heard from him, and that's why we are here at the Tuscaloosa Airport awaiting DeBoer to get off that plane before that team meeting later tonight. I'm sure some fans are going to join us out here later tonight as well, but this is what Tide fans were waiting for. They are waiting for some type of assurance that they would have a winning head coach in next season and wouldn't be lost. And it seems like those dreams have come true with Kalen DeBoer headed here from Seattle. Some fans tonight tell me DeBoer wasn't their top pick, but nonetheless, as a coach, his record speaks for itself, including most recently getting his team to the national title game. But that's not all that he has to offer. He's young. He could be at Bama for the years to come, something the Tide fans want to see. Saban was here for 20 years, and I think what Alabama relies on is consistency. We always have a consistently good football program, and we never want that to die down. Now, the worries that some people have with DeBoer is can he recruit and is he ready for the challenge of the SEC competitors? And Chase, that we just heard from, told me, well, if you bring some, some recruiters, Alabama should be golden. Live in Tuscaloosa, Megan Scrano, ABC 3340 News. And we want to hear from you. Do you think that Kalen DeBoer is the right person for the head coaching job at Alabama to replace Nick Saban? That poll question is live right now on our website, abc3340.com.